I didn't manage to catch it last year, so I'm so excited to get to be here for opening night. This was like one of my favourite films as a kid, so yeah, I'm absolutely gassed to be here. <laughs> very, very excited to be here. I've heard amazing things about the show. Can't wait to see it. I feel very honoured to have been invited, so yeah, bring it on. I wouldn't say connoisseur, but I've seen a lot of Studio Ghibli, so yeah, but uh, this, this is one of my favourite films, for sure. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan and I can't wait to see it on stage. How, how do you top last year? It, was, it went so well and everyone was so responsive to it. And um, it's just a joy to kind of return to this piece, to this world, to this company, to this crew. It's, um, it's, it's yeah, I'm very lucky to be part of it. It's a show about kindness and courage and imagination. It just is, and that spirit has just endured, hasn't it, all yeah. the way through. Um, and from those dark pandemic days when our silver lining was that we got to use the Barbican stage as our playground. Yeah. Although puppetry in full PPE is not straightforward. Yes. <laughs> but, yeah. 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 but um, I mean, and there were moments when we were working back then we, and the pandemic was in full swing. We were like, is this going to happen? Yeah. It moved further away. Yeah, moved. Yeah. So the fact that this show exists now and that people can come see it is, you know, it's a wonderful thing. In many ways, we were very lucky with the way the pandemic affected things, that we had an empty theatre to play in. And uh, Basil was um, making a, a different cat bus every day in that time, out of bin bags and plastic and tape. And we were, gave us a real opportunity to figure things out about how we would you know, stage the show. So it was great. It was a real opportunity. We've made some changes this year, and uh, looking forward to seeing how those go down. Um, I'm excited. I really, uh, It's really nice to come back and, and have another go. And uh, tidy it up a little bit and make some changes and hopefully make an even better show. It, it is really special when people come and they discover it live and in person and not through social media or uh, online or on the newspaper. They really experience it themselves. And so that is still pretty cool. And I, you know, it's hard to keep a secret actually. So, um, so I hope that we actually can for, continue for this run to make it be special and surprise when people see the puppets. Um, we had about 50% people return and 50% new, and um, the the new people brought, um, brought you know themselves to it. Some had seen it and some had not, um, and it's it's been it's been really exciting to see how the how the new cast, the, the fresh blood, as it were, has um, has reinvented the whole thing and all the returning cast have discovered it anew. Everybody just told me, just do what you want to do, just try it out. I actually asked for the recordings last time because I actually, I didn't have a chance to get a ticket last time, but I asked for the recordings, I asked for the films and they just say no, because they don't want me to be influenced, they want me to be myself, which is I feel very grateful. As an actor, you always want to be do your own artwork and do your own craft, and it, it, it just let me to do it. I, I think that I've gained maybe about 10 pounds of muscle because I'm, I'm doing a lot of the heavy lifting with like the giant puppets. Um, so my track is quite heavy lifting, um, and I've been doing this now. I did the last run, now this run, and I started back in 2020 with the uh, workshops figuring out how the puppets work. So yeah, really happy to be back again to do this in the barbecue. Well, in a way, I feel very responsible. <laughs> yeah, because I'm the only one who's singing on the stage, actually. So yeah, I feel very much responsible. But at the same time, I enjoy it very much that I get to sing the songs that I've been listening to since I was like this little. So yeah, everyday happiness. Every time I go back and watch the films, I get something different from them, and every time I think, oh, I know what it's about, you then go back a few years later and you something different, and I think the show also has that. It means different things to different people. And I think almost every night I get a new message, a new story from it. Um, that's the richness and the depth and the wonderful ambiguity of this show. Within the company, so many of us are fans of the film and also this production, whether we saw it before or just fans from being in it. And so it's so lovely to hear the audience react at moments where we would also, where I would also laugh, or where I would also be in awe. And so we have to silently be in the wings. But to hear like children laughing and speaking out and saying "Totoro" and saying "Cat Bus," to feel the joy is a, uh, it's really, um, it's so lovely, and it also reflects kind of how That's else we right. feel within it. Because we sort of know the structure of it now, and we know the areas where audiences love, like the crowd pleasers, the, the laughs, it's 
sort of our cheeky, mischievous delights to be like, well, actually, we're going to play something slightly different this time. It's not exactly what you expect. We're going to deliver something differently or like a bit offbeat. It's just nice now that we just get to sort of let rain a bit. I really like Barbican. It really feels like home yeah. and a really atmospheric and yeah. uh, it gives us a lot. Yes. Um, doesn't it? It's both yes. soft and warm. Been yes. very strong. It's like it's like a very good parent. <laughs> it's like takes care of you. It's a, it's really kind of an ideal venue to hold this soft, tender. Also, um, she, show. she lives very, very close to the theatre, so that's good. That's yes, good. I live very <laughs> nearby. I'm ever so lucky. I live in Sussex, so yeah. <laughs>